Hi there, students. A bower, bower, a countable noun. So a bower is a shady place, maybe under the branches of a tree or under some sort of uh, climbing plants. It's sh a shady place in a garden or in a wood. It's like an arbor. So I, uh, my girlfriend and I sat and had a picnic in a beautiful bower under the uh, spreading branches of an enormous oak tree. Okay, so a bower, a pleasant place under the branches of a tree. Okay, um, that he uh, had a tryst with his girlfriend in uh, a bow in a bower under the uh, 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 under some roses in the garden. Okay, so uh, a bower. It's uh, uh, this shady, comfortable place, a pleasant place under trees or climbing plants. Um, let's see. You can also use this to um, to say. A, a lady's uh, private room or her bedroom, her boudoir, if you like, but this is very literary. But that actually is to do with the origin of it, because the word bower comes from the Proto-Germanic word burndaz, meaning a room or a, a place to live. And uh, that's why I think that's how it's been handed down to us, but a shady recess, a leafy shelter in the garden or the, or, or the, the woods. Birds also make bowers. This is like a structure made of grass or twigs and very often decorated with bright objects. This is very, usually made by uh, male birds as part of their courtship display or their courtship ritual. I remember a, a video or a documentary about, I think it was the Bird of Paradise, making this fantastic looking bower. I might have the wrong bird, but this bower to attract the females. Okay, so a bower, a shady leafy place. This word though is rather literary, yeah? Um, I guess you could also use a bower metaphorically to say a place of calm and peace outside of the, uh, away from the trials and tribulations of uh, of life, but normally with the overhanging boughs of trees or or vines or climbing roses on a trellis, something like that. Okay, so yeah, ha. a bower bird. This is one that makes ba a bower in his courtship ritual. Okay, so a bower formality. This sounds rather literary. I'm going to give this a. 6.5 in formality. I wouldn't use it in for, informally. I would. I don't think I'd use it in an info, in a semi-formal conversation. I think stick to semi-formal writing or something literary. A great word for a poem or something romantic or something like that. And then, as I said, coming from this Proto-Germanic word buraz, a a room. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bower.